Hey everyone, my name is Sasu Laukkonen. I'm a chef uh, from Helsinki in Finland. Um, now, first of all, I will be your guide today to maybe Finnish happiness or my happiness or yours. I think happiness in general. We are right now in Lauttasaari in Helsinki. Uh, we're kind of semi surrounded with water. We're in the woods kind of, but uh, it's also a residential area, so it gives you a little bit of a hint about what the purity of our nature is like. My first wild herb to show you is called garlic mustard. Down here, with the beautiful flowers, which are also highly edible, the leaves are quite soft now, which is a great thing. They can be used as is, they don't have to be cooked at all, but when warmed up they have a very rucola, arugula-like flavor very sort of peppery, a little bit maybe oniony and garlicky, so hence garlic mustard, right? Here we have loads and loads and loads of wood sorrel. They're acidic, so they have acidity, which I picked a couple already, right? But this guy, this is where we're at. Our spruce trees are right now shooting. Shooting meaning new growth of the tree, right? Um, the new growth is beautifully kind of balanced and acidic and very fresh and can be used in various ways. We're, uh, we're drying them and we're pickling them sometimes, usually freezing them for later use. Like imagine like a salmon tartare in the winter time when the salmon are really, really fatty. And then you have a lot of these guys, the spruce shoots in there. It's just so fresh. It tastes like the forest, everyone says. So, so um, if you have been able to harness and buy some freshwater fish, white meated in, in preparation, um, I can show you a trick or two what to do. But there's also another thing I have a trick for, and this is our spring cabbage. This guy, very salad-like, crunchy and crispy and beautiful. Um, so I've had a cast iron pan on number two from nine possible on an induction all of our time now, so about 10 minutes or so. See, it's really not on high heat going. And see the caramelization? Caramelization, it's coming together really, really quickly. And there's nothing on the pan. There's no butter, there's no oil. Now, our fish. I'll just quickly show you what we're dealing with. Pike perch, it's a very white meated fish. I'm gonna trim a little bit on the side of the belly side. Now, the fun part is we're going on one side almost only. And I know it's not very typical, but it's also something you'll remember forever, probably. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank this guy to number nine out of nine, right? We have some salt here and the horseradish. So I'm just gonna slice one little beautiful slice of the cabbage and I'm salting it on both sides. So I'm gonna take the horseradish. I'm just gonna scrape some beautiful peppery horseradish on top of the cabbage. Now, going on the plate, just as is. Yes, I know, quite a good chunk of butter. Now, the thing is, you don't have to fry fish in humongous amounts of butter, but there's a couple of things it really helps. First of all, what a healthy amount of butter does is it keeps, or might keep, the fish a little bit off the pan. But another thing is what you can see happening here is that it's browning. And this beautiful caramel from the butter attaches to the caramel of the cabbage we have, right? It's really, really important to be following. So now I'm going to down to number four on the pan. And also what you see happening is that chefs everywhere are doing this, right? And you wonder why spreading even heat on both sides of the fish, although it's frying from one side, right? Helps the flavoring so much. You see that little twist? How the fish is twisting? We've gone enough from one side to be turned. And why, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to lose the minimum amount of moisture from the fish. So just a little bit of salt now on top, then flip. 
like so. Oh my goodness, beautiful. Look at that. There's flavors we can add later on. We can put some of the meadow sweet leaves that bring out this beautiful bitter almond like flavor, right? They're here. The wood sorrel, the meadow sweet from right here. Then the greens from the spruce shoots. Now, may I? Would you like to try? Yes. <laughs> yes, perfect. Okay, let's see here. There you okay. go. And please do grab a lot of the wild herbs. Wow. They're so important for the flavor. I'm super, super honored that you've been following. Thanks so much.